Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you breaking news. Catherine, George, Charlotte, and Louis beaming in shopping material for a handmade outfit for Halloween as they are heading to a vivid holiday. Princess Catherine enjoys doing crafts and arts activities with her young children cooking with them and decorating ceramics over the summer since she's recognized by her peers as an actively involved mother. Princess Catherine is planning a Halloween-themed half-term full of activities for her three children, including baking, crafts, and making their own costumes for Halloween festivities. Prince and Princess of Wales constantly attempt to make life as ordinary as possible for Prince George, Prince Louis, and Princess Charlotte. They hope their children will have the opportunities to grow up away from the glare of the mainstream Paris. She hopes that George 10, Charlotte 8, and Louis 5 will spend a week climbing, walking, and birding and pond dipping in the great outdoors. Throughout their Halloween vacation, the kids from the royal household will take strolls in the countryside. On a video that went viral on social media with 2.5 million views after 24 hours of posting, Princess Catherine was recently seen in the viral video with her three children going shopping for Halloween at the mall. Princess Catherine was reportedly observed by locals walking through her Norfolk, England, Sainsbury supermarket pursuing the holiday aisles. We weren't able to see the exact purchase, but it seemed to have been something from a fabric store. The woman who informed me of Catherine's presence added that she and her kids were there as well as along with the fact that Catherine had asked them about their Halloween costumes. Catherine, who went grocery shopping with Prince George and Princess Charlotte, was seen by other customers in the Halloween clothes section of the Kings Lynn Hardwick supermarket. They now appear to act a lot like any other ordinary citizens when they're making public appearances, much like the royal families of Europe captioned picture attached to the single remark. They must have had a great day purchasing since they returned home so late that they'd been locked out. A carved pumpkin emoji. This is Catherine and her kids' Halloween festivities in London at the front door of our house. The three people are posed in front of a massive black gates that surround the property. Four-year-old Prince Louis may have been spotted gripping the gates with both fists, accompanied by his nine-year-old sister Charlotte and George, now 11, joined his siblings in standing behind them next to a grinning Catherine. One person said, over the course of whoever's questioning how down-to-earth William and Catherine are, accompanied by the image. In talking to journalists, her sister Pippa disclosed that Catherine had her Halloween plans for the kids. Princess Catherine, my sister, is a huge fan of the holiday. We both want to continue keeping our Halloween festivities modest and low-key with our loved ones. Because the occasion provides a wonderful opportunity for letting your creative juices run wild with gory-looking cuisine and spectacular effects, Catherine occasionally commemorates Halloween over an intimate meal with friends and family. In the coming year, my sister will make an effort to juggle her new responsibility with those of her own family, George, Louis, and Charlotte, without neglecting either. This year's Halloween party won't be as big as last year's. Catherine and William are free of royal obligations for the following week, and it's probable that they'll spend the week at their home in Norfolk as George and Charlotte enjoy their autumn vacation from schools. A royal journalist claimed Catherine really wants her kids to experience a childhood not too dissimilar from her own. Carol, Catherine's mum, said that her daughter was looking forward to carving pumpkins alongside her cherished ones via a newsletter for her party decor company, Party Pieces. In addition to a picture of Carol wearing a sweater, the caption stated, Halloween represents the pleasure of autumn for me. When I was a kid, Halloween was always a lot of scary fun because we were able to dress up, carve pumpkins, and collect candy. I've actually grown some of my own pumpkins this year, so I'm looking at the prospect of decorating those along with my family and friends. Catherine and William are doing an excellent job of protecting their kiddos from the public eye and instilling in them a feeling of normality all the while subtly priming these individuals for the eventual responsibilities of royal life. 
It's a tricky balancing act, but the royal couple succeeded in pulling it off. They cared deeply about providing their kids with a stable environment and a rather typical upbringing. The Princess of Wales, Prince William and their kids are reported to be spending their next educational holiday at Anmer Hall, their 10-bedroom country home on the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk, where they enjoy exceedingly, according to a royal observer. Although the Cambridges now make their home near the Windsor campus of the children's school, the royal couple frequently return to their Norfolk residence and the hall for weekend vacations. They often visit Norfolk because of its relaxed and fun atmosphere. They've made plenty of pals and it's extremely ideal for them to hang out. It's as boring and mundane as it gets, that they can't get enough of it. A trip to the Norfolk shore always proves to be a good time for the Wales family. Throughout the week thereof, the sports-obsessed family plans to heavily focus on environmental activities, with Catherine bringing the kids pond diving, which is trawling in shallow parts of the pond to gather critters, bug hunting and windsurfing if the water temperature is favourable. The royal couple, Catherine and William, are said to have removed the swimming hole and tennis facilities from the Georgian estate and replaced both of them with an artificial grass so that their children may play on their windy house, a structure for climbing, along with a wall for climbing in the backyard. The kids still participate in every after-school club and sport their school provides, even during the break. They spend all of their free time playing football, frolicking about the field in their bare feet. those who've watched today's video, I thank you. For Halloween, how do you get ready for it? And if you have any last ideas or comments, please share them with us.